Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by reviewing a film titled Rip Girls. So yes, again, I'm reviewing another Disney Channel original movie. Which, like I said before, when it comes to these types of movies, my expectations tend to be rather low. Because I, the vast majority of these movies I tend to be lacking in quantity and whatnot. And, uh, I mean, some of these are okay, I guess, but a good chunk of them are terrible. Very, very few of them are actually good. Anyway, I mean, I like Disney and all, but I'm just saying. Okay, whatever, whatever. Let's just get into it, I guess. Because, as always, I have to talk about the plot. I guess that's what I do. Anyway, our main character is this 13-year-old girl. And, um... Yeah, she does have to live this life, because the thing is that she and her father come to this island in Hawaii. They do find a closer relationship to each other, of course, and they do think about changing the island in some sort of form or whatnot. So, okay, it's all fine and dandy in some ways, I guess you can say, but nothing's ever that great, I guess, but there's going to be some sort of conflict, obviously. But anyway, during her adventures, I guess you can say, our main character finds friends and a new hobby and whatnot. So, and this is going to be the whole bit with, she has to find the truth about her mother. So if anything, this is like a teen romance kind of a thing. And like the whole bit of Hawaii and if anything, the centerpiece of this movie it tends to be like, like a father and daughter relationship kind of a thing because there's a bit of drama you know, from family and whatnot that's basically what's going on here so yeah yeah okay I really like a straightforward kind of a film where they're trying to so that you know you can't always be happy and go lucky there's a bit of a mess that can occur throughout the entire thing so yeah, this character is going to have to find a way to fix up some problems that would arise in the film, obviously, so, yeah, especially for a young individual who's, n who's not really experienced with life, like, compared to some other people, may find it difficult to express how she would feel and whatnot, and, yeah, because, like I just said, life isn't always as easy as it would be, and she has to learn help with some things, like her father will have to learn how to deal with some things. Our main character, she's new to this place and whatnot. So, yeah, especially starting at that young age may not be exactly, you know, I mean, she gets used to it after a while, I guess, but right away she needs to get accustomed to it and whatnot. And, but yeah, that's basically the whole idea of what's going on in this film and whatnot. And, but yeah, this one wasn't, I guess it was, it was pretty alright, it was pretty alright, I suppose, it's a solid movie, and, um, it's one of the better Disney Channel original movies I've seen, I mean, I don't think it still aren't uh, that great, really, at all, but it's still, it's, it's a decent enough movie, of course, and this, uh, there was this whole bit where, the deliverables, these characters, these deliverables want to take advantage of a, of a main character, her, new friends, uh, if you want to call them that. It just seems like they want, are attempting to influence her to make some type of decision or whatnot, which of course is going to backfire. And yet, in other words, this is a very predictable movie in a lot of ways. And the part where her father, yeah, and her father doesn't listen to her right away. Basically, training her as a little kid, really belittling her in some ways. You you could be seen but not heard and whatnot. But yeah, so yeah, this is definitely um, uh, trying to have a good story. At least really attempting to have a good story and whatnot. And, well, okay, I know I'm making it seem deeper than what it is. But my point being is that it 
there was an attempt, there was an actually an honest, solid attempt to tell a decent enough story during the entire thing, and, and it shows it's more of an effort in compared to some of, the, some of the other stuff, which I really do appreciate, of course, and whatnot, and yeah, I guess you can say that, it, it has moments. As for the acting, it's decent enough. Not that I was expecting from all that much, especially from a, a main character, our actress here, who plays the main character. Not that I was expecting much from a lot of these individuals, but even then, this is a bit of an attempt here. I guess you can say that even that grown up cast, the grown up cast that played the uh, adult character, yeah, they, um, they, they're decent. That's yeah, very decent. But anyway, the locations in these scenes, the scenery, the Hawaiian scenery, is actually quite good. And I do appreciate the fact that why I may not be Hawaiian myself, but I do appreciate the fact that this film is playing respect to the Hawaiian culture. It doesn't make fun of it or anything. It doesn't mock it in any kind of shape or form. So that's definitely a good thing there, of course. Oh, points for that, I guess you would say. So yeah, it's a Disney Hawaiian movie. So yeah, I'm actually surprised not a whole lot of people are bringing this movie up, really. So what I'm saying is that Hawaiian themed Disney movies, okay, this one, when you think about that, it will not be the first one that comes to mind because a movie like Moana, yeah, that's the one that comes to mind instantaneously when it comes to these types of movies or like the Lilo Stitch film series will come to mind. So, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that this one fell under the radar, really. Oh, it's you know, sad to say. But, like I was saying a moment ago, this one's pretty alright. It's, it's a solid movie. So, at the end of the day, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 6.2 out of 10. It's a 6.2 out of 10 for me. And of course, as always, Thanks for watching, and take care. Till next time, see ya, oh yeah, later.